you hear that little ditty, you know what it's time for? The football okay. frenzy. Uh, frenzy. Yeah. I know. This is going to get serious. It's playoff, playoff time, time, guys. Right, yeah, right. the high school football season's winding down. We have just two more weeks of the frenzy. Tonight's game of the week is a playoff battle between Kennett and Cheltenham. Let's head over to Cheltenham High School where our Victoria Woodall is telling us about a great program that the seniors at Cheltenham play a big role in. Hi, Tori. How's it going, Leslie? Happy Friday football frenzy to everyone. Again, I want to apologize for my voice. I am starting to lose it, but I will say that there is one thing um, that brings me at a loss for words when it comes to speaking on behalf of Cheltenham High School, and that is a program that they have here that includes everyone and really focuses on the special needs community in a very special way, and it has to do with sports. Take a look at this. We'll talk about it right after. It's hard to ignore the spirit of friendship beaming from this group of students from Cheltenham High School. Hey Jack, come here buddy. You can tell by their uniforms that they're athletes, but this group is much more than that. They're buddies, joined together in a program called Athletes Helping Athletes, which connects special needs athletes with mainstream athletes through team sports. There was a little bit of apprehension at first from some of our guys because they weren't sure they'd be good at it. And then once they started to experience and work with the unified athletes, you you can't keep them away now. Do you have a buddy that's here? Um, yes. And who is your buddy? Mariah. Um, tell me about Mariah. She's a very nice young lady. She's my best friend forever. And so it was being there for me if I need anything. Many of these relationships have evolved even off the field. You're way too pretty to pick this. Yeah. Good but job. Fitness. Yeah, we worked out plenty yeah. together. And so have the opportunities for these athletes on the field. For the first time this year, they've started to introduce honorary captains. I'm not sure which game it was, but it was Andre. He came up and he knows how to throw a coin. He threw that coin up very high and helped us out. For them, it's a home field advantage and one they feel any home team beyond theirs would benefit from. Getting to know them and getting to see them smile and laugh and being able to help them and be the reason that they smile because that is the most amazing feeling that I think I've ever experienced. It was really, it was really infectious to be sitting with that entire group of student body and also faculty that's involved in that program. Everyone was smiling. Everyone felt included. Everyone felt important. And it's programs like that uh, that that help everyone just be put into the spotlight where they deserve to be. Everybody deserves to be in the spotlight, right? So it was such an amazing program. And Leslie, you had mentioned the seniors. So yeah, uh, the honor honorary captains get to spend game day with the seniors and they help them in school, they walk them out to the field, and they really continue to form that relationship and friendship with these students, these student athletes, that it really makes the world a world of difference, not only for these athletes, but I'm sure for the parents as well, and of course, for our entire community. So what a great day at Cheltenham High School. I think what a great story of mm -hmm. everyone just coming together and just being human, right? But coming up in the six o'clock hour, we're going to going to talk about football because it's Friday football frenzy, right? So we're going to talk to the away team coach and talk strategy for tonight's game. It's a semi game. Both teams have only lost one game this season. Mm. So lots on the line. Indeed. Mm, great stuff, Tori. Thanks so much. Thanks, Tori. I talk about family all the time. Mm. There it was right yeah. there. Mm. Right there. Thank you both. Coming